I just read about this idea from our acting ICE director and I think it's very interesting. America is a country of values and it's a country of laws. We all live together in harmony because we all follow those laws. If you don't, there is punishment. Simple, right? Well then how do sanctuary cities work? How can we have areas in this country where the rule of law is simply ignored, rather than changed democratically? It's madness. Luckily, Acting ICE Director Thomas Homan is serious about getting things done and his demanding action be taken check it out, via CBS News, Thomas Homan said, that the Department of Justice needs to file charges against municipalities that don't cooperate with federal immigration authorities and deny them funding. He also says politicians should be held personally accountable for crimes committed by people living in the U.S. illegally. Homan didn't beat around the bush. We've got to start charging some of these politicians with crimes, he said. This is a step beyond what you. S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions threatened to do, if you remember. He warned sanctuary cities that he'd take away federal money if they refused to cooperate with ICE authorities. Well, states like California are still refusing to cooperate, and Homan is sick and tired of it. He believes such states are playing a very dangerous game. Homan specifically accuses California of putting politics ahead of public safety and ahead of officer safety. He continued, what they have done is force my officers to arrest dangerous criminals on their turf, in their homes and places of business, rather than arresting them in the safety and security of a county jail. It's ridiculous to annoyingly and intentionally puts law enforcement at risk. Homan finished by saying that California Governor Jerry Brown is not protecting foreign individuals, in fact, it's only hurting them. Why? Because as the acting ICE boss says, there's no sanctuary from federal law enforcement. ICE has already stepped up their efforts in California, and they apparently intend to do the same in other sanctuary states and cities. And Homan wants more steps to be taken. He wants politicians in those areas to face charges for crimes committed by people here legally. Well, somebody has to take responsibility for those crimes, right? Do you think sanctuary city politicians should be charged with crimes?